It's a big weekend for bars and restaurants. I'm your Green Bay Neighborhood reporter, Andrew Amuzu, with how three local bars are preparing for it and the advice they're giving to stay safe. You get so many people, so many. Bars around the city preparing for the St. Patrick's Day rush. Ashley McDermott over at Heights Pub and Parlor says she'll be ready for it all. I like to get dressed up for things, so I have a tutu and all sorts of fun decked out St. Patty's Day stuff to wear for Sunday, so might as well get in the spirit. <laughs> Heights has only been open for about seven weeks and has already seen a boatload of green before the holiday. I mean, there was a guy that came in with this cool, like, button down St. Patty's Day shirt. And I'm like, all right, he's ready for St. Patty's Day, you know, so kind of cool. Just steps away from Heights is Ned Kelly's Pub, an Australian bar with Irish influence. I just started this past winter, so this is my first yeah, St. Patrick's Day down here. Bartender Haley McDonald says just like many other places, they will have Irish drink specials. Doors open at 8 a.m. Weekends right now are pretty slow, but I know this is a special weekend for people, so I know they'll be pretty busy. Big crowds mean an increased police presence, especially concerning unsafe and noisy driving downtown, right outside of Ned Kelly's and Heights. I think it's great. I mean, you need that during special holidays just to make sure everything's running smoothly. So yeah, I, I think it's a great idea. At Stadium View, manager Kelly Hewitt keeps it simple. Don't drive, take an Uber, take a bus, walk. Drinking and driving doesn't mesh very well. So be safe, have a designated driver. And March isn't just about St. Patrick's Day. Easter and March Madness will keep bars fairly busy throughout the month. And with that in mind, safety should continue to be the top priority for those venturing out. In Green Bay, Andrew Amuzu, NBC 26.